I'm Christiana Ellis, and I hope this second try works. Uh, this is five more minutes. So uh, I just was starting to do one of these a moment ago, and then it gave me an error message and made me start over. So hopefully this one will work. As an update to yesterday's video, I did in fact feel a little bit more like a human being once I had gotten up and showered and dressed and everything. And it wasn't like the most fun day, but I did fine. And ultimately it was fine and it was the right decision. And yeah, so sometimes you soldier on and it works out just fine. Uh, which is not to say that you should never listen to your body and uh, know when you should take a day off. But in my personal circumstance, that was the right call. In any event, I went to work. And then I had a relatively full evening too, where after work I went to the gym and I did a workout. And then I made dinner, which, you know, I'm still a big fan of Blue Apron, but uh, last night's dinner, while the end result was fine, I liked it okay. It was one of the harder recipes that I've done there from there in a while where it just took a long time to do. It was a lot of work for um, a result that was okay. And I did, there was nothing about it I disliked except for how long it took to make. And it was just, I feel like there are plenty of other recipes I would have liked as much with less work. Um, but then the other thing uh, that I spent a chunk of time doing last night was making a map. And this is for tonight's Dungeons and Dragons game. And it there are many great resources out there about uh, finding good battle maps to use for various circumstances. But one of the things that is always going to be the case there is that unless you are playing a pre-written module that has its own very specific maps, you're always going to be in a situation where either you choose the map in advance and then you describe the story to bring you to the scene that you have a map for, or you do whatever you can to try to find or make a map that matches what you have already described. And we've been running this campaign for a while. Everyone is level 16, almost 17. And, you know, they are 16 going on 17. And, uh, you know, they need a brand new map. Anyway, <laughs> um, in the campaign at this point, they are... They have traveled to the Astral Sea, which is another dimension and found the world tree, which is this, you know, uh, you know, magically enormous tree that normally could have its all its branches and roots uh, travel to all the different dimensions, but has currently been sealed in the uh, astral sea and has entombed itself within a, a gigantic uh, chunk of amber. But inside that chunk of amber, there's an entire city that's around the base of this tree, but it's still inside the amber. And so now the party has to deal with an enormous spirit dragon that is flying around inside the amber uh, above the city part around the big world tree. And that's where I need a map for. So the idea that I could use any sort of a pre-existing map seems like it would be a struggle to adapt, you might say. And so I decided to try making my own sort of map with a tool called In Incarnate, which is uh, spelled with a K, which is something I've used before in a while, but it's been updated a fair amount since then. And it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm not going to post the map until our session tonight, but I'll talk maybe a little bit more about it. I'll post like it, the, the map by itself on Twitter. But part of what was what will be an interesting challenge to use it tactically is that a nature of the astral sea in Dungeons and Dragons is that um, 
everyone can float. Like there's no gravity. You just will yourself to move in any direction, including up. So essentially it's kind of like everybody can fly, except that, you know, there's really no up or down. So it's not even really like flying. It's just like everyone can move in three dimensional space. And so the battlefield is not even really the city map. The battlefield is like all of the space above the city. So anyway, I had to try to make a map for that. <laughs> And it was a challenge, but I feel good about the result. Um, but I'm going to leave it there for now, and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.